his kingdom always now and ever and forever.
since you also are in the body, let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterous. Keep your life free from love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never fail you nor forsake you. Hence, we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Peace be with you. Comfort. 
face was wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go. Then many of the Jews who had come to Mary and had seen the things Jesus did believed in him. Restored to life. 
these people who then would greet him the next day on Palm Sunday as he triumphantly rides into Jerusalem. It's easy to see ourselves as one of these people, cheering on the joys of our Lord, praising him and worshiping him. These are the people that we want to be. If we don't allow our Lord to raise us from the deadness of our own sins within our soul, then we become like what those people become later in the week, as those same people would take our Lord to his cross and crucify him. And so, as we begin this holy week, remember the story of Lazarus. And remember how quickly Mary rose up to greet her Lord. And how joy and full she must have felt as she beheld the glorious resurrection of her brother that foreshadowed the resurrection that is now available to all of us as our Lord heals us from the death of our sins when we cry out to him with repentance and with tears, asking his mercy and knowing that he bestows, upon it, is, bestows it upon us. May the blessing of the Lord be upon all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Pray for the moment. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, O Lord, have mercy. Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
interaction between the guy who knows the Kremlin's crisis and then you to the laws of Jerusalem, you understood any of the languages of relation to the world, the relation to the way
angels stand before you, thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim, seraphim, six winged and many eyes, soar along on their wings. And you sing, cry out and proclaim the triumph in him, saying,
wiped his Lazarus through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the intercession of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of Saint Elizabeth, the patron of this holy church, and of Saint John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and he loves mankind. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to your servants, all the people who are gathered here this day, and those who are praying with us in their homes and in the hospitals, and your servants, Father William, Connie, Eliana, Helen, and your newborn servants, David and Joseph, grant them, O Lord, peace, health, and long life for many happy and blessed years. God.